to ask you about health care. You started out by saying uh, 5 million people have enrolled. Is that the correct word, enrolled, since we still don't know how many people have actually paid their premiums? Is it 5 million signed up? Will we get the information on who's actually enrolled and paid their premiums? CMS is working yeah. to uh, provide uh, more detailed data on uh, who has uh, already paid their premiums, uh, what percentage of the a population of enrollees uh, that includes. Uh, we can point you to major insurers who have uh, placed that figure at 80 percent, uh, give or take, uh, depending on the insurer. But we don't have specific data that is, uh, uh, you know, in a to reach their goal. They they don't have any idea, no, have no idea. who signed up. But uh, one man who might have a great idea uh, about what's going on in the head of uh, Vladimir Putin is our next guest, uh, Andre Iller. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Ilarionov is uh, with us uh, from the Cato Institute and former economic policy advisor to Russian President Vladimir Putin. And uh, we welcome you, Andre. Thank you. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. We appreciate you coming on. Um, tell me right off the bat, why don't we start with this question? How far do you think Vladimir Putin intends to go uh, into Ukraine? Uh, it depends how far Ukrainians and the West and the whole world would allow him to go. Uh, his intentions to go as far as possible. Okay, uh, and when you say how, how far the West will allow him to go, I think the president made it perfectly clear yesterday that uh, militarily there is no way to undo what was done and there's no way to stop uh, any further incursion into Ukraine. All right, we're having uh, some technical difficulties, I uh, do believe, with, uh, with our guests. Are you back, sir? Yes, I'm here. Do you hear me? Okay, I'm s now I do. So uh, uh, what about the president's uh, statements and implications that, uh, 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 the way I interpreted them, uh, was that uh, you know, Vladimir Putin has free reign when it comes to Ukraine? Look, uh, uh, with all due respect to President uh, Obama's uh, statements, the statements themselves cannot stop tanks rolling uh, on the territory, on the land. So if you'd like really to stop tanks, you need to have another tank. That's uh, pretty clear. For the moment, uh, uh, the President Obama, Western leaders, NATO, and even until recently Ukrainian government were not ready, were not ready to use any serious resistance to military actions of the Russian troops. And the result is uh, occupation of Crimea and annexation of Crimea. If this approach would be continued, so Ukraine and some other countries might lose some other territories. If, on the other hand, uh, there will be concerted efforts of uh, democratic countries uh, supported by readiness at least to demonstrate uh, readiness to use military force. There is a possibility to stop further incursions of military forces from the Putin's Russia. Andre, so uh, you're saying that, that military force really seems to be uh, the primary uh, um, objective that would, that would stop uh, Mr. Putin from further invasion of Ukraine. What about uh, uh, the removal of, of Russia from the G8, the sanctions that have been taken? Does that mean anything to him? Nothing. It's certainly maybe a little exaggeration that it is nothing. Certainly it's painful, it's not pleasant, but it would not reverse actions that have been already done in Crimea and in Ukraine. What is also necessary to take into account Regardless of kind of what kind of sanctions will be imposed on Russia, on Mr. Putin personally, on his cronies, on the Russian economy and the Russian citizen would impose some pain, as President Obama has said, has said, it's true, has said, it's true, but it will not reverse actions of military in Crimea. Uh, President Obama and Ukrainian government had the chance not to allow occupation and annexation of Crimea. 
they would need to repeat what uh, President George Bush did in year 2008 during Russian Georgian war, during Russian aggression in Georgia. That time, President Bush immediately sent U.S. troops, uh, U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy into the region. And it helped to stop Russian advance into Tbilisi. If Mr. Obama and Ukrainian government would do something similar in late February and early March, they would not allow occupation and annexation of Crimean Peninsula. It would lead to several days of high tension. It would definitely not lead to the war, but it would keep Crimea within Ukrainian territory and it would substantially low the risk of the overall military conflict sometimes so you think they'll, they'll, they'll yeah excuse me sometimes uh, operative military deployment can stop real military conflict and absence of military deployment actually leads to military conflict Right, which is kind of an offshoot of, uh, of, of peace through strength, I would imagine. So going forward now, uh, would you urge President Obama and uh, the European allies to, uh, to do what you said uh, with regard to, uh, to trying to stop the, a further incursion into Ukraine? And by the way, uh, a further, a further march of possibly challenging some of the uh, Baltic members of NATO? I think at this moment, right now and within few weeks and few months the critical place in the uh, on the earth is ukraine and it is necessary to do everything possible to strengthen ukraine and strengthen uh re ability and willingness of ukrainians to fight back for that purpose i would strongly recommend to pre to deliver all necessary aid including military aid uh, if Ukrainian government uh, would ask U.S. and NATO to help them. Second, it is necessary to strengthen political situation in Ukraine because right now uh, Putin's uh, forces are trying to destabilize situation in the south and east of Ukraine, trying to create a situation of civil war in those regions. That would allow them to create so-called situation of chaos, of disorder, and to claim that the presidential election on May 25th either will be cancelled or they would lead to imposition of the puppet uh, person that would be pro-Putin's and pro russian in Ukraine. I think it is possible and necessary to stop the development of such scenario. Andre, uh, President Obama just said in an interview that aired uh, today that the uh, Russia should move back the troops along its border with uh, with Ukraine and uh, begin direct talks with the Kiev government. So he is just by him saying that. Does that also, again, without any concrete military action, will that have any kind of effect on Mr. Putin? Unfortunately, no. And already the Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, has issued reprimand to President Obama saying that uh, Russian military on the border with Ukraine are not going to intervene into Ukraine and they are located on the Russian territory. So that is why uh, Mr. Obama is incorrect. Uh, certainly, uh, these... All right, you know what? Uh, uh, uh... Uh, Andre, we're, we're up against a hard break. I, I want a one-word answer from you. Is Putin crazy? No, he's very rational. And he's using very accurate uh, some mistakes and weaknesses on the part of Western leaders to uh, acquire new and new assets. This Crimean operation... Okay, uh, Andre, I, I appreciate it very much, and we'd love to have you back. Thank you very much. That's uh, Andre Ilarianov. Uh, he is a former uh, policy, economic policy advisor to Vladimir Putin. The panel is next. Don't go away on the Steve Malzberg Show on Newsmax Television.
We don't just talk about the news. We talk to those making news. This is the Steve Malsberg Show.